By now. By now, you've likely seen this video of controversial mayoral candidate Faith Goldie being escorted off the stage at today's first Toronto mayoral debate. Faith Goldie considered a controversial candidate because of her views towards immigration and alt-right platform, but a recent poll shows her in third behind Kizma and Tory. So why wasn't she on stage to square off in the city's first mayoral debate? And the selection process is based on a couple of factors. So answering the arts vote survey, which is sent out to all of the candidates, having a stated public arts platform so that we know that arts is an area of interest for you, so it's something that you could speak to in uh, an interesting and engaging way in a public forum, and uh, having a significant enough constituency. So the sense that you have a, a good running strength behind you. And did Faith Goldie have a public arts forum policy? Uh, not at the time that we were doing the selection process, no. And what about the survey? Did she complete the survey? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, that survey did not come to me. As I said, there are about 40 of us running it. So um, as far as I was informed, no, she did not complete the survey. And as for media presence, because some of the polls are putting her at in third place. Um, she got quite a big following on Twitter and whatnot. So how do you guys decide uh, when it comes to the media presence? Yeah, uh, it's an arts constituency, and so we're looking at um, what the arts community is talking about because the arts vote debate is about arts issues, and so naturally attended by people who are engaged in the arts community. Arts vote, we reached out to them, and they said the reason you weren't part of the debate was because you didn't fill out the necessary paperwork and because you didn't have an arts platform. Is that true? Uh, no, that's categorically incorrect and a load of baloney, frankly. Uh, we received absolutely no emails, either within our campaign official email or within my personal email as well. On top of that, I clearly have stated on my website a arts and cultures platform. That's enough. Some are saying after the video was posted online, they're saying that this might be a publicity stunt. What are your comments on that? Uh, that's insane. I'm running for mayor of Toronto, and I think that my platform speaks for itself. We're incredibly serious about being tough on crime and easy on taxpayers. And uh, I would like a chance to convey some of my very serious platform with the great people of this city. And I'll tell you going... This poll from Main Street Research puts Goldie in third place among decided voters, but she still only picked up 6% of the votes. The poll from last week shows John Tory sitting well ahead of other candidates with over 60%. Jennifer Kiesma is second with just over 25%. Another 6% of people polled, they say they will vote for another candidate other than the top three. The Arts Vote Toronto co-chair says only five candidates are chosen out of the total possibility of 35 candidates. So it wasn't just Goldie who was excluded, but, they, but others who they felt didn't fit their criteria. Goldie plans to hold a rally tomorrow since she hasn't been invited to tomorrow's televised debate.